which has um, a picture of Prince Andrew escorting the Queen, along with the title Royal's Dismay at Andrew Roll in Philip's Service. And insiders tell Mail of strong sense of regret after shamed Duke put himself front and centre as World Watch. We'll be looking at that story in a moment. On to the Daily Telegraph, which has Russians give up on conquest of Kiev. That's uh, the peace talks. We'll be looking at those as well. A picture of the Queen. And Met hiding behind rules by not identifying Partygate offenders. This is the return of the Partygate story. We'll be looking at that. On to the Independent, which has Russia pledges to reduce attacks around Kiev. And also, the Nazis killed their families. Now, Odessa's Holocaust survivors fear that Putin will do the same. On to The Guardian, a law breaking in number 10. No surprise, The Guardian's focusing on that. Police issue first 20 party gate fines. There's also a picture of the Queen and Prince Andrew at the uh, Prince Philip Memorial Service and suspicion as Russia vows to rein in its forces. Suspicion indeed. On to the FT. Russia and EU in standoff as Putin digs in on ruble payments for gas. He's not backing down on that and I'm not surprised. And there's also checks on EU imports set for fourth delay amid supply chain collapse fears. I thought the supply chains had already collapsed, but there we go. On to the mirror. We have the Queen, the pain and the stain. I presume the stain. Uh, <laughs> Queen tears for Philip as Andrew worms his way back into limelight. Um, On to the Times. Russians promise to ease Kiev onslaught and secrecy for number 10 staff given Covid party fines. That's uh, what everyone wants to know. Who's been given the fine? On to the Sun. Tearful monarch at Duke Memorial, the Queen of Broken Hearts. And finally, we have the Daily Star. And what is the Daily Star going to go with? <laughs> Step away from the hobnobs, Roman. Uh, poisoned Chelsea boss at Ukraine peace talks, but he's warned to give food and drink a wide berth. Roman Abramovich, that known consumer of hobnobs. Um, those are the headlines. 